गुड मॉर्निंग एम आई ऑडिबल गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल एम आई ऑडिबल ओके फाइन ग्रेट good morning all so we are starting with the reading club starting with the prayer Master, the Samuel Hanuman, for this divine science, taught us dare to be wise, seeking blessings from our Guru, Dr. Prabhu Vijayakar Sir, who made this divine science and combined with the modern science and made homeopathy like easy, like mathematics. Jai Hanuman, Jai Homeopathy, Om Vijayakaraya Namah. So friends, we are in the journey of reading practical part of the Organon of Medicine by Samuel Hanuman, 
along with the workshop conducted by Dr. Vijaykar sir in 2002. The script of that workshop is presented in the books verbatim. So we are reading that books from March 1st. We'll continue this. <clears throat> so up till now we have covered the part of the case taking and in the case taking many of the glimpses and the wisdom of master is telling us about how to understand the disease and how to understand the man. Now the second point from the aphorism number five, that is what the aphorism number three suggests that the first physician knows about the knowledge of the disease. So up till now we have covered that part, the knowledge of the disease, that is what the myasm, understanding of the myasm and the case taking and knowledge of the individual. The second point in the aphorism number three is the knowledge of medicine. So this is what the practical part starting from the one or five aphorism, the second point. The second point of the business of the true physicians relate to the acquiring the knowledge of the instrument intended for the cure of a natural disease. Investigating the pathogenetic power of medicine in order when called on to cure to be able to select from among them one from the list of whose symptoms an artificial disease may be constructed as similar as possible to the totality of the principal symptoms of the natural disease sought to be cured. So here in this point of view that we need to understand the knowledge of instrument intended that means the medicines that, that means the remedy for the cure process and for the cure process we need to apply the law of similia the symptom similarities. Aphorism number 106, the whole pathogenetic effect of the several medicine must be known. So this is what a very important aspect of that we need to understand the depth of the medicines to be act on. There are medicines which in our material medica it was written that it act on a certain particular part, for example, the tissue, for example, the glands, for example, a certain bones and everything. But we need to understand what are the pathogenetic actions of particular for example, if we uh, understand that the calcarea floor and the fluoric acid. So calcarea floor has to produce a exostatic kind of changes. That means the growth in the level of bone, whereas in the fluoric acid, it produces a necrosis in the bone. Both are acting on the bones perfectly, but we need to understand the pathogenetic power of that particular medicine. So that has to be counted into considerations. So that is what master is telling us. The whole pathogenetic effect of the several medicines must be known. That is to say, the all, all the morbid symptoms and the alterations in the health that each of them is specially capable of developing in the healthy individual must first have been observed as far as possible. So that means you need to prescribe these medicines on the healthy individual and understand what are the alterations develop after that and observe that before we can hope to be able to find among them and to select suitable homeopathic remedy for most of the natural disease. So before giving any medicine to any person, you must know that it has to be proven thoroughly and then and then it can apply to the patients. The aphorism number seven, one not seven. In order to ascertain this, if medicine be given to the sick persons only, even though they may be administered singly and alone. So this is what master is wisdom is given a single remedy and alone. So only that remedy has to be prescribed. No combinations, no mixings of remedy is allowable. Then little or nothing besides the seen of their true effect. So that is what the thing is. As those peculiar alterations of the health to the expected from the medicines are mixed up with the symptoms of the disease and can seldom be distinctly so this is what you have to understand. Only singly and alone medicine has to be prescribed. Even in proving also or even in the patient or when we are applying to the sick persons with the law of similia, then also the single medicine has to be prescribed. So friends, we are in the continuing journey of reading verbatim. Uh, the workshop conducted by Dr. Prafur Vijaykar in 2002 at Mahabaleshwar. So today we are going to deal with the latest topic of our today's era. It was said by 
asked uh, Dr. Vijaykar sir in 2002 about how to approach the cases of autism. So we are reading today with the approach of autism. So what is the case of, this is the case of autism, which is presented by the predictive panel, Dr. Dr. Anita Saluke. So we have to understand the man in disease. See, this is the case of autism. So today we are dealing with the approach to the autism. What is autism? So is autism is a rare variety of the developmental disorder. Nowadays it is not rare. Okay, nowadays it is very common. But in 2002, 22 years ago, it was a rare variety of developmental disorders. That in the census of uh, 2001 to 2010 or in uh, one nine, 1990 to 2000, there was a less number of the autism patients are there. But since last 10 years of the span, the, the rise of the autism cases has been increasing. So, autism is a rare variety of the developmental disorders seen in the early childhood. There is an inability to respond and gaze avoidance. So, this is socialization. They may not look at you because they do not understand what you are talking. The disorder of the speech and language the odd behavior, the child can never learn manners. It is also associated with an emotional disorder like showing anger or a fear suddenly without any apparent cause. These children can be hyperactive or hypoactive. So right now we have the idea about autism is, what is that the autism is? Autism is something that the uh, socialization, no socializations, developmental del a delay and there is a, a repetitive behavior that or there is a hyperactive or hypoactive. So this is what you have to take into considerations. So let us see the case and how child came to doctor. So case a male child is at four years diagnosed with the autism came to madam on October 2001. The child would not speak any word. He was just four years old. He would just cry loudly for hours if he was hungry or thirsty. He would scream and cry, throw temper tantrum. He was very obstinate. If his demands were not met, he would just cry and roll down on the floor. He was so violent that the whole family was scared of his tantrum. Once he started crying, he would not stop for hours together. Then they would have to meet his demand. His behavior was very abnormal. At that time, he was destructive. He could throw things, strike anyone. He tore one of my books in the clinic. This is what the observations of a doctor in the clinic also. He was unable to understand anything that was told to him. Whenever thirsty, he would drink straight from the tap. He did not know what was the right or wrong. So here the sense of right or wrong is not there. He disliked wearing clothes, would roam around naked everywhere. For 15 days, he just roamed out of the home on the road and when asked to wear clothes, he would throw temper tantrum. It was a scary to handle the child. Without telling anyone, he would go out of the house for hours together and roam aimlessly. He would not play like other children. He was in his own world only. The school also said that they would not keep this child. He loved writing, would be busy writing, would write on the walls, on the book, etc. This boy who had no interest in playing did not understand what is going around but would only write. So this is what something you have to keep in your mind. Some PQRS that is presenting to us. He also had a sharp memory. He could remember big words without being taught anything. While in a train, he saw Bombay Central and he wrote the word down. He also loved music and would constantly hum songs. He did not speak anything but would write big words perfectly without mistake even if he saw those words once only without any single spelling mistake. Now let us see him how he developed anger and he throw temper tantrum in the so this was a video clip clippings. Mother says he does not talk, does not understand anything, always wants a book and pen. 
in a hand he does not get that will write anywhere on the walls mother's words etc he has not been taught any word yet he writes he just see and writes he hardly speak any word if he is hungry he will go on crying for hours soon after his delivery he did not cry after his birth the doctor could not make out what happened his birth weight was 4.5 kg it is the psychotic baby the large weighted baby they could not make out only after one year of time he would not respond when he called his name he was tested at the age of one and a half years his hearing was normal there was no illness he did not utter any word till one and a half years of the age the first time that he fell ill was when he suffered from an urti for which he was given allopathy cold and fever would be there but no serious illness his milestones were fast except for his speech he started walking within the age of one year here the tantrum started he wanted paper to write and father refused to give him paper if we do not give him pen and paper in hand this is what he does crying screaming he will constantly cry like this for 2 to 3 hours he says something but no one can understand he speaks something utter some word but it is not understood the mother gave him up gave him the pen and paper in the hand but once he is provoked he will not stop his demand have to be fulfilled the patient has taken homeopathy for one and a half years without a relief there is no change even after one and a half years the patient is crying and screaming constantly there was a, a special aya the maid servant for him in the school he would even hit that aya also beat other children he was just screaming no one except the poor mother had to bear him the patient was even taken to some psychiatric the school also refused to keep him they kept him for not more than 30 minutes he writes the whole day the wall are full of his writing he even writes kabhi khushi kabhi gham without any mistake this is difficult for us also but he can write it down easily dr anika what happened dear son no answer given <clears throat> video observation the child threw paper in the clinic he had asked for a paper but father said there is no paper since temper tantrum now later when he was given paper he started screaming he refused to take that paper and pen offered to offer later to him he uttered something which no one could understand he screamed in a paroxysm this poor child was tortured by the whole family the father asked him to go out he again uttered some word which was still not clear this is the case and what do we see this is no cause there is no positive factor here so next we see the miasm is friend syphilis you know the behavior has been changed so next we have to see the miasm is the miasm is frank syphilis he is abnormal out of control so destructive and something is perverted at the level of behavior how to approach this type of cases we have a child with temper tantrum and on the other hand he wants everything he is a very very obstinate kind of personality but there is no sense of right and wrong he goes on destruction uh, he go tore the papers and everything but one one fine day he wants to get the pen and paper so that is what something you have to keep in mind now physical makeup the appearance the appearance is thick haired and the plump child because the child was born 4.5 kg weight the plump child could be because he was taken a lot of drugs allopathic psychiatric etc general hyperactive restless and hot he does not wear any clothes mental makeup the demanding child shrieking inconsolable impulsive rage the anger goes out of control contradiction intolerance this is what something this rubric is applicable to persons who has reason to understand that a contradiction is something going against his wish 
we cannot take aggravated contradictions or contradictions in tolerance for him as this rubric is for someone who understand contradiction is when something goes against your wish here the patient does not understand whatever told to him <coughs> Compulsive writing, offended easily, and top in this perspective. So we have to see in this syphilitic state where, where has his defense mechanism gone down? What has gone out of control? What is the peculiar things which is out of control in him? Anger, violent, no control over anger, and what else is out of control here? What is he doing constantly? The writing. So what are the rubrics we can think of? So we can think of anger, violence, violence, vehemence, busy, fruitlessly, shrieking, physical restlessness, restless hand. Even when he does not have pen in hand, he would make gesture as if he was writing something with the pen. Quiet with the music, music hamlet, not talking or supposed to, because the boy who is violent become quiet when the music is on. Shamelessness. She would roam out of the house without any clothes on hot. So this is what something that we have to think over. The journey of disease, the seventh layer, mental retardations. Now we take this his main rubric, which are the restless hand, the shameless, and the hot. And the on the basis of this, the tarantula hispanica comes into play. So he was given tarantula, wounded single dose. So rubric taken was taken for the cases. Answer question does not answer aversion to understand questions addressed to her does not. Activity busy fruitlessly destructive gestures make hands restless busy obstinate headstrong music emulates and weeping refuse when anything. Okay. So this was the basic understanding when we have no idea about the mother is then also we can prescribe on the basis of child disposition so this is what the 2002 cases but nowadays the approach has been advanced to certain extent that we can take the mother history and then we apply to it so already i have taught the approach to the autism in one of the uh, camp cases video you can go to go to the YouTube channel, uh, Happy Gujarat channel, where you find the approach to the autism, the latest advance which is made. But we can also go through the dispositions of the child. That is what is PQRS in that disposition that is most important to the case. So the follow-up, after one and a half years of the homeopathic treatment, he would not improve. But after this medications, he would start with changes. So in December, so the patient came in October, in December started talking in a two months. The patient was singing song in the cleaning. The first thing that he started talking was the song. He insisted that he wanted to wear a new clothes, wanted his snap to be taken. He is looking at the camera. He was not ready to do so on the first day. See how psychosis has been coming. So he is directly having an eye to eye contact with me, which he never had earlier before. He has still not stopped writing now, but he is writing sensible now. He does not hate, scream, or bright anyone now. So this is what in the fall of the destructive behavior has to be reduced and the psychotic behavior has to be adapted. Yes, uh, contradiction intolerance was not taken in this case. As yes, the person does not understand, if the person is understanding, then and then we can think. But here the person does not understand because of this autism. So contradiction has not been taken into account. This is what understanding has been written. So he was not ready to do so on the first day. So how psychosis has been coming up, he is directly having eye to eye contact with me. So this is the sign that eye to eye contact is the fall of criteria is the, in autism. So once eye to eye has been started, that means your case has been improved, which is never had earlier before. He has still not stopped writing now. 
but he has writing sensible now so that is what writing also changes it does not heat scream or bright anyone now so that means again the destructive behavior of uh, screaming writings and everything has to be go first so this is what the first thing to go should be this destructive quality so very important aspect of all of criteria in autism is this he enters restlessness has to go on at last it is not the uh, restlessness going first, but the destructive behavior has to stop first. He understands sentence now, though not full, now behave well with his sister, share his things, cries only when provoked, not causeless. So previously it is a causeless cry, but now it is provoked cry. Now, now ask for the water initially would drain directly from the tap. This was the syphilitic. Uh, his mother said first he would cry the whole day. Now he laughs the whole day, only cries for 5 to 10 minutes in the whole day. He used to go out without any clothes, not bother what others will say. Now he wants to wear a good cloth and go out. So this is what previously he was a shameless. Now he, he developed the sense that I need to wear a good cloth. That is psychosis has been changed. So this is what the main miasm has been changes at the level of mind and behavior now if clothes get dirty he will ask his mother to change his clothes he has desire to take bath in his own now play with other children initially he is not mingling with the children he used to go out of the house anytime now he goes plays and come back like a normal child now the fear of being reprimand has come in now morals have come he is not naked or violent anymore. His appetite is better. Now ask for the food. He started talking a few words. First, he would just cry when hungry. Uh, we had to understand that he is hungry or thirsty. Says, hi doctor. So this is what in the follow-up you can get that initially he had not utter any word. But at last he says, hi doctor. So this is what something you have to keep in your mind that the communication has been started, the socialization has been started, the destructive behavior get been reduced and it started the psychotic behavior of wearing clothes and everything. So this is something you have to keep in mind. The jungle has been improved, appetite has been improved and the moral, the sense of morality has been improved. In the next follow-up, the humming songs, uh, now he is understanding the understanding and humming. He looks at you and hum sensitivity is coming up today. He just has his books, but no pain. He will dress himself for the school and go and take walk. Still want to go out and roam and come back. He like to go out and loves music. His sister did not come to the clinic. He asked his younger sister to come with him. He has now started becoming affectionate, the soric. So this is what something you have to considering. The story trait has been coming. If anyone falls ill, uh, he will go and pat and take care of that person. Again, that is a affection. Once his grandmother uh, fell down and he took great care of her. Previously, was never bothered about her or anyone at all. Sensitivity has been come. So here, the sensitivity has been come in. No more writings on the wall or the showcase. Now he does not drink tap water anymore. And while living, said bye, see you. So this is something that the change has been made. So this follow-up gives you that the proper follow-up and the understanding of the case. So that is what you have to keep in mind in autism cases. What is PQRS to that individual or particular has to be taken into consideration first. Second, in the follow-up, you have to understand that the destructive behavior has been reducing. Third, the moral has been improving. And the fourth, the sensitivity has come back. And then, initially, the socialization has to be started. So this is what a little approach of autism. When you didn't get any mother history from the patient, then also you can prescribe on the basis of these cases. We will continue a different chapter today. So hope you all understand the basic 
and for more understanding you go to the video of autism the cam cases approach to the cam cases with the autism uh, write this keyword in the youtube and you will find my video on that and you will get the idea that how the approach of autism has been evolved still working on that and i am trying to make uh, what are the rubrics which will fill up in autism cases so i will take that lecture later on so that we can combine that with the cases so that we will help all of you to learn in a proper way so day 5 the chapter 17 with the dr vijay shah again he is one of the panel doctor in the predictive homeopathy <clears throat> so one of the most difficult case to handle is that of the infant so this is what case of a very small child previously we have learned the approach of the skin disease we have learned the side effect we have learned the many approach we have learned the approach of gcs today we understood the autism how to take the autism case and then another case if you have a small infant less than 1 year of the child then what you do so this is what something you have to keep in your mind so one of the most difficult case to handle is that of the infant if an infant you have to study uh, the body language the history that you get from the parents especially mother may be different from that what you are trying to understand and you cannot get anything directly from the baby we the faculty member have seen dr vijaykar prescribing even for a one day old infant if you do not understand genetics and if you do not master yourself on observation it is very difficult to treat the case so here you require the genetic understanding and the observation quality i have pres- patients coming and asking me can you treat my 3 months old baby they are already coming in for the treatment of their elder children and they want you to treat their younger one the predictive homeopathy teaches us how to proceed in such acute cases day in and day out we see the acute cases and if we can treat a child we get more rewards in our professional practice so this was the case one the video clippings an 8 month old child came in crying with a chief complaint of fever of the 6 days duration the first started with the diarrhea then cold and cough the child had a fever of 1 or 2 fahrenheit and he had come the child had already taken allopathic treatment for 4 days antibiotic and antipyretic he was passing water is do just lying down in the whole day or constantly putting his head on the shoulder of the mother he was very cranky irritable and difficult to handle the mother was also getting irritated now because of the child when the child was made to lie down he became completely quiet that is the child actually wanted to sleep he was a very restless child otherwise there has to be pin drop silence or his sleep get disturbed now the whole day he was either sleeping or crying in a acute state the child otherwise had an aversion to cover but now in his acute state he wanted a covering his thirst was decreased he was not at all interested in taking water he refused even sips of water that his mother would offer him so this is what something you have to keep in your mind that this was the history on the basis of this history there is a change disposition on the basis of this history there is a change thermal on the basis of that history there is a change thus on the basis of this history there is a behavioral changes and the acute complaint so what we have to keep in your mind for acute cases so in analysis we need to understand the panch tatva the five element what we have gone through in the previous session that the panch tatva that means the activity it is called the energy the space the thermal which we have a fire the thirst which is a water the mind is the air and the physical is the earth so dr vijaykar has given this idea about the panch tatva that means the activity chart activity thermal thirst chart so here the activity is decreasing the dull sleep is more 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 and goes off to sleep whenever you make him lie down the appetite has been decreased the thirst is thirstless or thirst decreased and in acute he wanted covering so previously it is not like that so it is a chilly child so chilly thirstless and sleep overpowered 
the remedy that came up is the chart of is other gelsenium sepia and naxmos chart and now let us see how to rule out remedy from each other so gelsenium gelsenium is a first class chili but has a slow onset and the progress here the patient has fever of 101 from the first day one itself also what the patient is not only dullness but also sleep overpowering so this is what the gelsenium has been ruled out the sepia here there is no indifference in the child at all the picture in acute is the same exact mathematical picture this mathematical picture is exactly applicable in acute cases so go to the acute book so you will get the idea the pointer of the sepia indifference and the next omega this is the laser known and often neglected remedy next moschata <clears throat> let us see the follow up so patient came on the 25th may 2002 at 5:30 pm with the above complaint so follow up on the next day 21st at the 4:30 pm that is exactly after 24 hours there was a smile on the patient's and the mother's face this smile has already told that the follow up patient is better the patient was febrile the diarrhea and the urti were much better the child was now quite happy calm and quite not cranky or irritable the remedy selected was nux moschata the patient was given nux moschata 200 single dose lfc was already given up in this case as the child was becoming more and one more irritable uh, and irritable with the fever but not coming under control acute cases have to be solved within 5 minute in a busy practice so this is what dr vijaytar has told so whenever in acute conditions the patient comes to you you prescribe allow the patient to sit outside the cabin and see the follow up within 5 and 10 minutes or 20 minutes so this is what something you have to practice one cannot experiment in acute give a remedy and wait and watch for 7 to 8 days so this is what the do not what you cannot do you have to keep this in mind that you only this this is one cannot wait in acute for 7 to 8 days you have to be sure of the remedy you selected in acute so this is what the criteria in acute that you have to be very sure about all the five corollaries of the patient have to be matched with those of the drug that is the fast five punch tatwa the flow chart of dr vijaykar is perfect pathway to reach the acute remedy this is how every case become a learning experience when dr hanuman started practicing homeopathy he was not allowed to make a experiment and to practice homeopathy he had to pay penalty to the kingdom for the practicing homeopathy one day some member of the kingdom was sick and hanuman treated him from that day his penalty was waived off hanuman was the master of acute this is how homeopathy become popular in europe and other places success in acute cases is necessary to establish sustain and flourish a homeopath especially in india where there is a lot of infectious diseases which are airborne waterborne etc so this is what be be master of acute a different approach is required for the next case one must think that acute differently one must think and act differently and explore his knowledge and experience and then the result are satisfying it is important to know what to see in follow up when to repeat and when not to for that one must know the definitions of the health one must also understand the pathology the miasm etc so observations is very crucial in acute cases 70% of history come from the old observation itself as the symptoms very clearly in acute Yes, so this is what you have to keep in mind. Sharpen your observations in each and every case so that you can treat acute very easily. So another case, the case of a female, 19 years, came in with the severe acute pain in abdomen, the vomiting, tenesmus, and a bloody stool, with an ineffectual urge since past 12 to 13 days. So this is what the classical case of acute dysentery. she was already on allopathic treatment for the past 15 days with no relief uh, she was just lying down with her eye closed so there was a profound weakness since september there is since the time that she got admission in the college her appetite and weight had started decreasing she was very fuzzy about food 
would eat only limited things. She does not like canteen food, would eat too much only if the food was of her liking. For example, the Chinese food. Since past one week, her appetite has been very poor. At home, she avoids friends, refuses their phone calls or talking to them, aversion to talking to in the disease state. Her thirst was good. She would take only chilled drinks, chilled water. The patient came in with the ice tank filled in the glass and was constantly sipping it, desired cold, juicy, refreshing things. She had a severe excruciating tenesmus. Uh, she would go to the toilet, screams, and just pass blood. She was ambithermal in the acute state, very hot otherwise. On examinations, she was in a semi-conscious state because of sleepiness, more sleepy. Her general condition was very poor. She had to be aroused from the sleep. It is sleep overpowering. The abdomen was very tender. Pain was worse even with the soft touch. She had a pallor, severely anemic, plus plus three. She was constantly holding her mother's hand. So this is what we have to analyze the case from this. We have an ambithermal, sensitive to touch, thirsty with thirst for cold juicy things, ever going to talk and uh, pallor. So this is what we have found. So... Rubric selected is refreshing things desire for sleep, sleepiness, sleep overpowering, thirst for small quantity often. The remedy came up is China, phosphoric acid, entim tart, pulsatilla, and phosphorus. Now let us see how to rule out each and every remedy. The China, the patient had a vomiting, loss of vital fluid, etc. But is, what is more important in China is distension of abdomen, the flatulence, and no relief from the stool or erectation. Pulsatilla. Pulsatilla is hot and thirstless. Patient was thirsty. Phosphoric acid. The patient was very weak. Loss of blood. Desire for juicy things. But she was very thirsty and phosphoric acid is thirstless. The other remedy one can think is of alumina. This is not in, included in the chart. But alumina has a constipation and straining to pass tool has to be there to prescribe this remedy. The remedy selected is the antim tart. Again, you go to the chart and you find that the sleep overpowering. In sleep overpowering, there are three remedies. That is, one is the antim tart, one is nacromita, and one is opium. So, in this case, the remedy prescribed was antim tart. Because of, we need to consider the energy of the patient. So, that energy has been the most important aspect in understanding the case. Follow up the next week after the remedy, she had passed four to five stool without any blood in them. So this is what the syphilis has been get back. There was no pain in the abdomen. Her weakness was much better. She could sit up to day. She started eating. So this is what Sora come back. Her sleep was better. Her stool routine examination shows the absence of pus and RBC. So this is what something that you have to keep in mind. The follow up has been improving. But somewhere at the back of my mind, I knew that this remedy was not the right simulium. This is what a uh, doctor thinks. But because of paucity of symptoms and the state in which the patient had come, I had given this remedy presenting the state simulium. So this is what something many a time we also have the same experience after prescribing certain uh, drugs or remedies and we feel that... Uh, I thought this is not exactly the right remedy. It just hit the state only. So later on, going into detail of the case, so she had been admitted at the Bombay Hospital and a lot of investigation done, that sigmoidoscopy done, colonoscopy done, blood test, etc. Her histopathology report shows the global ulcerative colitis. From the ileocecal junction to the rectum, not even a single part of the intestine was spared from it. She was given two bottles of blood transfusion. So this was an apparently acute disease. So it is not an actually the acute disease. It is an, a chronic disease of acute exacerbation. So this is what something you have to keep in your mind. Whenever the patient comes to you, you have to be very alert that what you are treating. Are you treating a pure acute treatment, acute case, or it is an acute exacerbation of the chronic Disease. So this is what, what we do the mistake. So this case tells us that we need to prescribe 
the GCS, not the state remedy. So that is why we have to be very observant in each and every case is that what case we are going to deal with and treating with. So therefore, it has been is advocated with the GCS, the genetic constitutional stimulant. If an acute emergent remedy is given, it might give a temporary amulet followed by an aggravation of the disease or it might lead to the suppression. So this is what you have to keep in mind. Since the acute is treated, the chronic has to be in a relation to the acute. Most of the time, it is what the source has experience in many cases and whenever you have treated with a certain acute remedy, the chronic remedy is in relation to that remedy only. So when the thief runs away, so this is what the philosophy behind that, when the thief runs away, he will definitely go to his relatives only. So this is what you have to keep in mind. So the acute remedy cannot be the genetic constitutional stimulant since it is only an exacerbation of the chronic disease. In chronic disease, when genome is not changed, one requires a genetic constitutional change, remedy. So this is what very important aspect of understanding. In chronic disease, when genome is not changed, one requires a genetic constitutional stimulant. In chronic disease, when genome is changed, one requires a phenotypic constitutional so in most of times the advanced understanding of the case that whenever you are treating the chronic cases you have you need to treat by two way one is gcs and one is a state memory or a pcs so this is what uh, it is proposing 2002 this patient as a constitution was a careless even for her disease uh, she stopped coming for the treatment once her blood is told stop. She had amenorrhea. They still could not believe that homeopathy could do something for them. She continued on steroid, iron and multivitamin, etc. After she became fine, she went to Jaipur, her father's hometown. They belonged to Rajendri. When in Jaipur, she would go to the best of the hotel and not to any roadside hotel. Because of the disease, when parents would ask her not to eat certain things, she would not agree with them and would say that only certain things appeal to my tongue and I will eat those things only like a Chinese, spicy, Punjabi, cheese, butter, etc. After coming back from Jaipur, she went for another vacation to America. Her college was still going on. She did not go to the college. She has two elder sisters. She is the youngest and the most pampered. So this is what her disposition is. Now, sisters, you, she is very shy, reserved, and hardly talks with relatives, but very talkative and jovial with the friends. She is a good listener, listening and adjusting, but she is very lazy even to the extent of personal hygiene. Very short-tempered, if pinpointed her mistakes, angry for 7 to 10 minutes, would not talk to anyone. She need to be pampered and then forget it. She admit her mistakes very fast, say sorry weeps easily and is emulated by the constellations. After sickness, she has a desire for sympathy and attention. She is above average to hard work in the study, but never participated in any extracurricular activity. Wanted to do computer engineering, but could not get admission, so is now doing her electronic engineering, but she is happy doing that. She got admission in September. She became a cultural secretary of her class and due to her academic performance and her parents' influence, she became a PR of the class. After becoming uh, the PR, she had a very big group. Uh, when she went to college after school, she was very much more interested in drama, dancing and singing and so soon became the cultural secretary. She was selected on a singing competition by a senior group, but at the final moment, she was dropped out. This did not affect her much last October. <clears throat> Thereafter, she scored less per percentage of the marks in her exam for which her parents scolded her. She had an average speed of the work. Her hobbies were video games, computers and music. She was good in math. She was innovative and creative. She was excellent in gift packing, cooking, and games. She is very timid, scared of the strangers. She shares her problems and emotions with her elder sisters. She was an insecure child since the beginning. Now what happened? After intimate she was better, but her irritability come back. 
the acute episode was in april 2001 till june she did not get her menses for two months the patient again came back to me in the third month of her amenorrhea rest all was fine i again went back to the history the patient again had an acute exacerbation very severe this time and she had to be given five bottles of blood this time rebound phenomena disease that come back with the double force with a partial seminoma so this is what very important whenever you prescribe the partial seminoma you get the same episode but it is a rebound phenomena and it is with the double force the trouble part for me was that though apparently healthy the patient was not attending her college but was going on vacation one after another now the history now was she stay with her parents and sisters she is the youngest and very pampered in the house good in study but was not interested in study angered easily when someone nags her constantly she immediately speak out loudly in anger mainly with parents she would wear all boys dresses only caps clothes would even talk like a boy she come from an orthodox family because of her this attitude she would always have problem with her father her father would tell her in a middle milder way but she would not like it she is very obstinate and would not like others who once decided to do something will do it so this is a obstinate will personality very dominating was from contradictions wants everything to be done according to her own way only weeps easily especially when alone her sister said that she was emulated by consolations reserve takes time to mix up cannot make friend easily does not share her emotions easily comfortable only in the company of the family and friend does not like relatives coming to her house this is because when relative comes she does not get attention she like to watch tv but when she is not in a good mood she does not let other in the house also to watch tv will say talk to me and listen to me so this is what she wants attention can postpone work take decisions very easily and fast once decided she is very firm in her decision sympathetic to some extent she is not very religious fastidious to the extent that she wants the environment clean not much of personal hygiene she is timid cannot speak in front of other sensitive to scolding of her mother she wants to be famous in the world by any means so this is what her aim or ambitions feels that family member should not be troubled because of me so here something is coming out the sensitive when she was going through the college admission she felt very guilty that because of me my family is under pressure they always have to look after me so this is something that affected her feels that my family member should not be troubled because of me because of me my family is under pressure they always have to look after me she wants all exclusive things best hotel vacations in america reduced from her lifestyle carefree attitude towards life college is going on yet she went on two vacations she is conscious of her image in the society very fearful fear of being alone fear of height and of insects now feels her disease is severe and has fear of death likes to be with the friend likes to be in the party is a party worm likes to be center of attractions wants approbations and attentions thus moderate and the patient is hot this is something the disposition is on the basis of disposition you can think of that the patient is in the acute exacerbation of the ulcerative colitis chronic cases and the one episode is controlled with the entem tart but there is a partial remedy after that the rebound effect comes and she was given a six uh, unit of the blood because of blood loss so here the analysis is something like that she wants attention so her need is something that she wants attention so when she is not in a good mood she does not let other in the house also to watch tv will say talk to me and listen to me this normal this is normal for a small children but it is something that a 19 years girl wants this so this is something that it is 
not normal. This is more than emulated consolations or desire, sympathy. There are a rubric, sympathy, desire, and consolation, desire, desire, attention. All these are different rubrics. Here, she does not like outsider coming home as the parent would be busy talking to them. Since two years, she was being very pampered, requiring a lot of attention, consolation. She was a sorry and psychotic, but now she is a syphilitic. She was interrupting even teach, uh, TV watching. If a child of the two or three years does this or a play antics in the house, it is very usual. It's a common for that child. But for a 19 years girl, this is not usual. So I had taken a sympathetic desire earlier and had given her palladium and she went into suppression. So this is again on the basis of that appropriation and everything palladium was given, but it went into suppression. The patient has a syphilitic complaint and at the level of mind also there has to be some syphilitic expression because ulcerative colitis at the level of 3 of suppression chart, psoriasis is at the level of 3 and it is a psychotic expression and ulcerative colitis is syphilitic expression. The point that is what the spending, the throwing money without thinking, fully spending, this is syphilitic, there is no control while spending and extra again this means the wanting the best of everything will buy things but knows why he is spending has control over spending this include a show ego haughtiness wants best car best bungalow etc this is psychotic and involves show of an ego but here the miasm is syphilitic <clears throat> Example, a case of asthma of a boy belonged to a middle class family but desiring a lot of things, for example, one day wanted a cycle, the other day wanted to go to a gym, etc., was treated with the mercury on the basis of this rubric that is squandering. So this is something that without knowing I am spending. So this is what throw, uh, throwing money without thinking, fully spending, this is syphilitic and which is out of control that is spending so this was another remedy which is mercurius prescribed now the question is why did she go into ulcerative colitis the disease either i either ascend from the physical or an emotional level in his first line in the introductions of the organ of medicine, Dr. Neumann says that the mankind suffer because of two reasons. Suppression at the level of the body or from the mind, will, intellect or the emotions. The past history of the patient revealed that she was suffering from the psoriasis since childhood till one year before this disease could develop. That is till the age 18. She was suffering from the psoriasis. She now has gone from psychotic to the syphilis because of suppression. I had told that the patient that her psoriasis will and has to be come back. This is what happened after ending that. Though it was a partial simulimum, the patient got her psoriasis back over the eyes, behind the ears, neck, joints, etc. The disease in the same layer, the third layer, and now also in the fifth layer, amenorrhea, but now in the syphilitic miasm. So my partial simulimum was palladium. They are the party worms, like to be center of attraction. And after the party is over, they are worse. They need approbations. Palladium went wrong. Then I had to look after, look out for the third remedy. She started losing hair. She did not get her menses so far. Everyone was happy with the palladium. The gastroenterologist MD said it is unbelievable that something like this can happen. All medicines including ferium, visolon, multivitamin, etc. were stopped. She was on no medicine except homeopathy from April till September. I was wondering why it is so not acting. I repeated it thrice but the results were not according to my expectation though psoriasis, her childhood disease was coming back. But her menses and anemia were not improving. So again, we have to keep in mind. The gastroenterologist had said that if her disease is not controlled, then as the whole of the intestine is involved, the only option left is colostomy. Remove that part. If we cannot control with the conservative line of treatment. 
Imagine a young unmarried girl going to college with a colostomy bag. After listening about the colostomy, she started coming regularly since September. After the first follow-up, <clears throat> she was doing okay generally. Her chief complaint was better everyone was happy. Is it cure? No. The hair, the best ornament of any female, was falling. Her own hormones, amenorrhea, were not in the balance. Even a classical homeopath would say it is a good thing, but I was not happy because something has to be maintained. In the second follow-up, her menses were still absent. In the third follow-up, anemia still not improving, though ulcerative colitis was better. Hariman says in aphorism number nine, in the healthy conditions of the man, the vital force, the dynamics that animate the material body rules with under unbounded shape in a harmonious, admirable or vital operation as regard to both sensation and function, so that our indwelling reason gifted mind can freely employ this living healthy instrument for the higher purpose of our existence. So again, Guyton says the different part of the body operates in the harmony. Thus, each cell benefits from the homeostasis and in turn, each cell contributes its share toward maintenance, maintenance of the homeostasis. This reciprocal interplay provides the continuous automaticity of the body. If one or more functional system loses its ability to contribute their share of function, and when this happens, all the cells of body suffer. So here, what happens? One system is improving, but the two other system is not improving. So whole body is suffering. The extreme dysfunction lead to death. Moderate dysfunction lead to disease. Hanuman went further than the guidance. He said that to perform higher function. This patient was knowing go, not going to the college regularly. Instead, she went to America for enjoyment. Is this a help? No. When your patient is in the right simulimum, they have to perform their higher purpose of existence. Again, what Harrison says, after elective colostomy, the patient often feel more energetic, gain weight to their pre-illness level. When we are not satisfied with this, surgery is not the answer. What they can do with the knife and scalpel, we can do with the pills. So, who is the great surgery as said or homeopathy? So here the rubric were taken was uh, bagging and treating. It is an it is not the just the attention. The attention goes is a higher version. So attention is a psychosis. Here every now and then she was telling her parents and sisters, "Do not call relative at home. You do not listen to me. When you call them, you look at me, talk to me." So this is something that she wanted the bagging. They are fed up of her demand of this bagging of hers. This was her syphilitic nature. And one 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 thing is she is bagging and on the other she is spending a lot of money and spending. So something that you have to think in a mind. The remedy that came up is the arsenic, belladonna, aromat, kalika, camphor, pulsatilla and ignition. Now let us rule out this remedy one by one. Arsenic. Arsenic is better by consolation. The patient craves consolation. They are selfish. They beg because of their insecurity and selfishness. It is not only for the money, but also at the emotional level. Children shriek for the attentions of their parents. In syphilitic state, they bang their head on the wall, knowing that nothing is going to happen to them. They will only suffer from pain. They have cravings for ice cold things, thirst for sips of water, which gives them temporary relief, but they are definitely emirated by the warm fluid, lycopodium. Here, mercury desire cold thing with a large thirst and it is aggravated by the warm, exactly opposite of that. Anxiety with restlessness, miser and aggravated when alone. Belladonna, the very acute onset, sudden with the violent hobby, the patient disease was gradually growing, so belladonna is ruled out, the pain aggravated by a jar, jar touch and is better by sitting up, very sorry or very syphilitic, the patient is violently, mentally and physically when sick, so this is what belladonna, we know the belladonna, devil when sick and angel when well, Aurum mat, the weeping and praying, hopelessness, Melancholy in syphilitic state, worse from contradictions. There is a lot of love for life, 
the patient desired death uh, Oram is very diligent. The patient was not in the syphilitic stain. They beg God and ask for the death. Kali Kap, very irritable, weeping and quarrelsome with the family. Anxiety about health and anxiety while staying alone. The patient was not at all anxious for her health. Chili, the patient is hot. Flatulence, diarrhea, alternating with constipation, aggravated warmth. And at 3 a.m. also Kali Kap is not there in the spandering. Camphor, a dry collapse, the patient has 13 to 14 stool, they go into crisis and cry for the help. Better by free discharge, in anguish and crisis, they shriek for the help. Nothing satisfies her, feels she is going to die, icy coldness of the body and yet ever going to covering and awkwardness. This is a camphor. Ignatia ruled out because the miasm and pathology does not fit in. Ignatia is oversensitive, desire to be alone, angry with self element from emotions here it was from the suppressed psoriasis once in the syphilitic state they shriek for the help here the patient demands there is a lot of grace in the ignatia and the ignatia is chilly pulsatilla desire to be caressed and consoled sympathetic desire desire full of timid mild move to tears when sick this patient never cried when sick changeability thirstless though with the dry mouth and the last remedy that is a platina the screams and cries loudly for the help squandering obstinate desire attentions chronic intestinal bleeding clark says severe acute abdominal warm abdomen wars from touch a lot of grace does not like anybody pinpointing at her haughty and casting of the people so the remedy given was platina 200 Follow up within 10 days, <clears throat> she got her menses, which she had not got for last 13 months. So this is what a very important aspect of that. Your medicine feed directly to the higher center. Her hair was a thick plus plus with the partial similimum. She went from third to the fifth layer in the syphilitic miasm. I can go anywhere now. The patient is says because of her disease she was not allowed to go outside alone she fainted twice on a road because of her anemia falling off hair was much better the patient is smiling lesion in her axilla was aggravated second follow-up <clears throat> her eyelids and her axilla were clear her dressings was improved she is now listening to her Parents, she likes to wear normal traditional dresses. Her basic nature has not changed. We cannot change the basic nature. We can only temper it down. She took a drop for one year from the college because she was on the vacation, but now regularly attend her college. She is very active. So platina was repeated only once when she had a second episode of intestinal bleeding. So this is something that you have to learn from this case. So here the approach to the case we have seen first case of approach to the acute case when you, you find the change disposition but whenever you have another case like acute exacerbation of the chronic disease in that case you need to probe the gcs and that is what the case is so we conclude today's reading here and we continue from the chapter 18 from tomorrow morning so hope you all enjoy uh, the reading this and enjoy the learning of this wisdom of sirs so that sir can guide us in our endeavor of these learnings so thank you so much we conclude the day today contradiction aggravation is not taken as he does not understand then yes So this was the learning of uh, the 20 years back, that learning and that the observation has been taken into consideration in that case. But nowadays the approach has been advanced. So for more advanced approach, you go to the YouTube and you will get the approach to the autism. Uh, there is a lectures. So go through that lectures and you will get the answers. We will have a, a book that is on acute. So uh, for that, uh, uh, you can go through that.
theory of acute book and you will get the answer fever cases in acute for more understanding in case taking in children and infant uh, you will go to my channel where i have uploaded a five lectures on approach how to take a case taking in case taking in infant and pediatric so go to that lectures uh, listen that lectures and you will get the idea and you will get the observations rubric from the patient also so dr amreshwar uh, go to the youtube channel thank you thank you so much Thank you all. Thank you.